Hello there once again. The first radio we're going to work on, which has just come in from another dealer, is a Cybernet Beta 3000. Unfortunately, the person who's bought this bought it off eBay. Unbeknown to them, it had been fitted with a couple of extra boards to provide illegal extra channels, and they want it quite correctly modifying back to standard, which has been done in the other workshop. So now it's time for alignment. What I've done already is to set the VCO because the VCO has been messed about with, uh, it was causing no transmit and no receive. So the procedure with the VCO on the Cybernet PTBM 134AOX chassis, as I say, which comes from 1981, is the resistor 4 just there. As you're looking to the towards the back of the set, putting the test prod on there and your negative, of course, to uh, to um, to the negative um, rail, we should have on channel 40 round about four volts. And then on transmit, which we're going to transmit, we should also have four volts, which we now have. So that's already been set. Then what happens is you check it on channel 40 that it's still in lock and it mustn't go lower than 1.8 volts. So again we've done that on transmit and receive. Everything else is now going to take place on channel 20, so in the middle of the uh, band, which of course is 2781 for the UK under the MPT 1320 legislation. The first thing we do in transmit, I'm just going to switch so you can see the um, test set power meter. We've got the power meter on the three volt range, sorry, three watt range. And I say because this radio has been messed about with so much, we're going to have to go through everything. So if I just select the other camera, you should see the test instruments. If I don't have my shoulders in the way, picture in picture, there we go. Now I'm going to press transmit. You see the meter's now gone over and the first coil to adjust using the correct trimming tool there is L4 if I remember rightly the T, T2, 3 and 4 in that order transformer 2 is that one so we're just going to peak that for maximum and that is maximum T3, which is the next one along, peak that for maximum, and then T4, which is just there, and we'll also peak that for maximum. And they didn't actually move at all, so there's no improvement being gained. It's actually giving out 1.8 watts at the moment. So now we're going to go for L4, L8 and L9. And L4 is that one there in the can. Using a plastic trimming tool. Now that's brought it up two and a quarter. Don't be tempted to use hexagonal keys. Are you going to end up with snapped coils? I'll just have to move over to see where I'm putting that. And we're just going through them again just to see whether any improvement can be gained. So we're now unkey and that's as peaked as it's going to be.
it's not unusual for the power to drop down as we're keying up. Um, this has settled at, let's have a look at that, two and a half watts. It's pretty dismal, isn't it? Now what I'm just going to do is check the audio deviation. I have a little oscillator for this, because I'm going to do it two ways. What we're looking for is two and a half kilohertz maximum deviation certainly needs to be more than 1.7 it must never exceed two and a half just have to retune the meter because unfortunately I've just realized we've been using it on VHF uh, on a business radio job I'll just see, tune it back to 27 meg band for CB there we go we got there, the right hand oscilloscope, these are really cheap oscilloscopes they're only going to show audio and it's absolutely ideal for what we're doing now it's absolutely dismal Well, that's about there. Now what I tend to do is just do a quick whistle uh, to approximately the same frequency, which is one kilohertz. Just make sure it doesn't go over. And it does go over. So just readjust that. I never was any good at whistling. We'll go back to the uh, oscillator. that's about spot on on that so that concludes transmitter alignment on the Cybernet PTB M134 in this case it's the um, Cybernet BT3000 the service manual I'm using we don't have a Cybernet service manual is actually the one for the Rotel RVC240 which of course is electrically exactly the same radio what I will look into is why it's only doing two and a half watts instead of four and uh, we'll leave that at that's how it's aligned and that's what we're going all we can achieve with this particular unit